going to show you an interesting way to use squares as diamonds and corners on your cards. This is kind of a vintage feel to it. I think it's quite pretty and we're going to do some embossing rather than cutting completely. And to introduce the products for today's video, I have the dainty oval frame from the frames and tag set. And this is what we're going to um, be cutting our sentiment set with. Um, from the New York collection, I've got both the Times Square and the Madison Square and the Herald Square. And we're going to be using bits and pieces because they mix and match together. And for the floral element, we've got an old favorite here from our finishing touches. This is the classic rose die set. Right. Now, I've done a bit of cutting ahead of time, but what I want to show you is this pretty Madison Square, and I'm going to go ahead and put this onto a piece of milk card with some removable tape. Let me set that out of the way. Okay, we're going to cut it and then we'll do some embossing with it too. Put that onto our cutting plate. Now, since these squares tend to be a little bit bigger, they're around the four, four and a half inch uh, range, sometimes you'll have to turn them and that'll get these two. If cut these two sides perfectly. Let's run it through one more time after we've turned it. That should catch the other sides. nice. Now what I'm going to do is some embossing. So let's bring these back over. I've got my embossing plate and my tan mat here. I'm going to pop that down and I'm going to use the inside square here from the Times, Times Square. And I've got this piece here from the um, Madison Square Center and I'm going to leave a die already in that. And the reason I'm going to do that is because since we're just embossing, sometimes it can crack and, and cut through the paper. If you tend to leave a die cut in, it, in that, it softens it just a tiny bit and it most of the time eliminates that problem. Pop that down and let me get it all straight. Put a little bit of tape on that side. Straighten this one up and we're going to run that through. You don't always have to cut. Sometimes just embossing is enough to give a really pretty look. And I think we forget about that on occasion. Okay. Oops. Popped right out of there. There we go. Let's see, I'll tidy that off real quick. A little bit better later. But you can see that the emboss on that's really pretty. We've got just a couple little spots, a little bit of a rub with your finger kind of puts that paper back down, but you've got a really pretty um, cut around the edge and emboss in the center there. Now I've gone ahead and done three of these for the card that we're making today. And I've cut two of them in half and turned them into giant corners, okay? And this was the aperture I cut in the very center of my card. So to um, attach those, I'm just going to put a little bit of Cosmic Shimmer glue around the edges here. And just a few dots here and there. To kind of hold those pieces down nice and firmly. And we'll pop those up into the corners. That looks nice. So you've got a really pretty little detail feature added on the sides there. And we'll do this one right here. with a couple little dots around. It'll dry clear, so if you actually get it over onto your background card, you shouldn't see it very easily. Pop that on there. And I had used the original uh, die from the uh, Times Square just to make the, the initial um, aperture on there. I backed it with some lavender card. And from the uh, Herald Square, I went ahead and cut this out of lavender also. Now it is tone on tone, but I do love the piercing dots that are around the edge there. So 
just going to go ahead and use some tape on this and keep it nice and flat. And we're going to recess that back down into our aperture. Oops. Pop that into place. All right, like that. Okay. So you can see how that's coming along there. It just adds a nice feature. You could have left it completely with the background of that showing, but I love the way that looks with the piercing dots around it. Now I have went ahead and did one of these, put some mounting foam on the back. And this one I'm going to leave intact and we're going to just put that right in the middle of that, lining it up straight. Okay. And do a little bit more cutting. I've stamped one of my sentiments here. And we need some, there it is, some tape. And we're going to use this outside cutting edge. These are nice, they're done in sections, so you can get whatever look you want. If you just want a square, you can use just this outside piece. If you want a little more detail like I do with this one, we can cut them together. And let's pick that up, that should be able to catch that now. There we go, much better. Okay, bring back my cutting plate and my base plate. We'll run that through and do some inking. Now you could also emboss that if you'd like to bring a little bit more of the detail out, but just for today's video, I'm just going to do the cutting. I am going to remove my tape though before I do my inking, so I don't have a void where the tape is. I'm going to use some uh, shaded lilac distress ink, and I'm just going to give it a light inking all the way around, picking up all those edges. It's a very, very soft kind of a color, so it's really nice and easy to ink with. You don't have to worry about being too heavy handed with this one. There we go. That should do it. Take it apart and let's put it back onto our magnetic sheet. How pretty is that? I just love the way that die comes out that into place and a little bit of mounting foam on the back of that should work. There we go. So we'll build that up and add that right into the center of our square that we've put on the diagonal like that. And I've gone ahead and I've made one of the flowers from the classic rose and I've sugared it using some ice snow and some cosmic shimmer glue to attach that. It's really, really pretty that way, I think. Um, I'm going to add a piece of cream colored tool behind it. And the tool is pretty. It just adds a little bit of something to your cards without being too overpowering like maybe a ribbon would be. And I'm going to put my flower right in the center of my bow and add my bow to my card. I've tied the bow out of mauve colored seam binding. Just a little messy bow. Pop that down into place. I'll spread those loops out a little bit more. Just to kind of fill in. There we go. And finish this little guy with a couple of stick pins that I've made. Push those in underneath. That way the pointy parts are safely hidden. There you go. How pretty is that? You could add some extra cream colored pearls to that, but you can finish your card off any way you like. And I think that is a really simple, easy way to have a stunning card to send to anybody you like.